Yo, what's up guys? Luke Callahan of the Disc Golf Kid here, and we are in the car with the brand new Discraft Test Flight Disc. I'm doing the intro in the car on the way to a field because it's pretty nasty and rainy and we don't want to risk the camera any more than we have to. But I am super excited to do this video because this disc, it's not a Paul Macbeth disc or a Paige Pierce disc, it's just a Test Flight Discraft disc. It's going to be a stock disc one day and I'm super excited to show you guys. I'm not going to show you what it looks like yet, but it's beautiful. We're going to get into feel, flight, everything like that, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But we are pulling up to the field now, so I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, here we are in the field. The rain stopped. Don't know if it's temporary or long-term, but we are going to start throwing. This is the beautiful Discraft Test Flight disc. I'm going to throw it. This is going to be genuinely my first shot with it and then I'm gonna compare it to some other discs flight-wise and feel-wise. But before I throw it, I wanna give you guys close-ups on it. The rim is really weird. Every other disc, here, let me grab a Zeus, for example, and put them side by side. The Zeus, the lip almost Stop dips down this. like that. Dips down. And then this one is like, dips up almost. It's really weird. I don't know how else to explain that. But in my hand, it kind of feels like a longer heat. We're gonna let this car go by. It also has a little mini bead there on the end, um, but super swirly and beautiful. So with that being said, I got a little bit of a headwind. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it. First shot with it. Guys, last one turned over into the headwind. Throwing this one downwind. Gonna see how it reacts with the tail. Alright, so I've just thrown it a couple times, air shots. Now I'm gonna throw it how I think I would actually use it in a round, which would be a roller. Downhill a little bit, gonna rip it, mainly just see for the big arms out there that are bigger arm than me if they could use this disc for anything. Wind kind of gobbled that up. Don't really know how far it went, but we're gonna U-disc it anyways. We got fair, already got it set, so we're gonna walk. Final thoughts on the disc. I liked it a lot. I'm probably gonna bag it for a little bit to see how I like it until they release them. Um, but for the guys that throw right around 350 feet, I think you'll love it. I think it'll be max distance for you. It's the perfect flip up turn and then fade back at that speed. Um, I liked it a lot, even at my speed when it was turning over a lot. It's going to be a great disc for me to use in the woods. Tricky little out shots. Fun rollers like you just saw there. So that's my thought on the disc. If you think it would fly a little different for you, obviously. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, I was throwing those about 450. So you can kind of adapt that to your distance. If you throw 300 feet, you can kind of assume that this is probably just gonna be straight to overstable for you. If you throw farther, you can assume that you probably can't use it for anything other than a roller. Um, but again, I really liked it. If you wanna see more reviews like this one, make sure to let me down, down in the comments with another disc you'd like me to review. And stop. 5.25. Not that bad. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to pick one of these up whenever they release. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.